What's up guys? My name is Sean Armani. Come check out my first project, Casa Armani. Let's go. We're gonna go start in the bar area. Come check it out. So right here, my first instinct designing the place was when you walk in the house, you need something that really is striking. For me, I found this stone, it's called Patagonia. I decided to have a company come in and backlight it to really make it pop. It has this amazing texture. I had originally sourced this sofa from my friend Raul. He's at Casa de Barcelona. It's a vintage gallery here in Miami. So here we have the bar lounge and in here, we have the actual wet bar. We have a sink, cabinetry, sub-zero ice machine. Fully make any cocktails you want. It's just a good hangout spot when you have pre-game, parties, whatever. Have the powder bathroom here. And just for some background, when I bought the place, it was a complete shell. It was all white inside. There was nothing, no floors. I designed everything from scratch. So we picked the Italian marble called Breccia Ceppo. This is the first project I committed to to fully design myself and the goal was to achieve like organic modern vibe. I really didn't know how far I'd take it but once I got started I fell in love with it and really just went with it. So started with the floors and then from there I had my contractor build all these floating ceilings so you could have the recess lighting, surround sound, the cove lighting, it really creates this homey feel. In Miami, you can't have recess lighting unless you do floating ceilings. So there's no way to do electrical. That's why we chose to do this and we did it in every room. So right now we're in the living area. That includes the kitchen, the dining area, and the living space. For me, one of the most important things was being an organic feeling. And as you can see, I really tried to bring in those organic elements with the travertine throughout and the wood. Really just trying to make it feel as warm as possible and as cozy as possible. So in the kitchen, we chose Taj Mahal. This is a home finish. I like it because it's simple but adds texture. We found this brown wood that I took off all the white cabinetry and changed it to this. We also used it for the built-in over here where the TV is. All the furniture in this room is sourced from multiple different places. This dining set is from my friend Thomas Hayes. He's based in Los Angeles. These chairs are vintage. I sourced them from my friend Raul. He's a vintage dealer here in Miami. His shop is called Casa de Barcelona. So if you like vintage pieces, definitely check him out. He's the man. I got these lights sourced from him, which I had to beg him for. They're very cool. He didn't even want to sell them to me. He wanted to keep them with his wife, but I convinced him to sell them. Coffee table is also from Thomas Hayes. Sofa's from James Purse. I wanted it to feel like you're in a beach haven in the sky, but also have this little bit of Japanese zen to it. This place is fully equipped smart home. You have Lutron lighting, full surround sound, home automation system with Josh AI. You can completely control the home with voiceover or with an app on your phone, lighting, shades, Sonos, TVs, you name it, you can do it all. All right guys, now we're gonna check out the master suite. Come on in. It's a very big closet. It was designed with the intent to house multiple different things, clothes, handbags, shoes, anything you can think of. Um, initially, when I bought the apartment as a shell, this actually was completely closed off with two doors and a wall down the middle. And I had the vision to open this up and make it feel more loft style just so it felt like a free flowing space going from the master to the closet all the way into the bathroom. So we'll start here. Had this island and the entire closet built by California Closets. This stone is called Ceppo Antico. It comes from Italy. You have space for accessories, sunglasses, more sunglasses, jewelry. You have a hamper, glass cabinetry to display whatever you want, handbags, anything that's important to you. Lots of shoe space. I chose for shoes. You can adjust these shelves. You can put handbags, whatever you want. Let's keep going. This is the master bedroom. You have the Ceppo Antico from the floor to ceiling on the wall as well. So in this room, I like to describe it as the stone really brings this seashell kind of vibe to the room. Again, trying to strike with organic tones, but not being too colorful. I wanted to bring in some touches of color, but not too much. I want to keep it as neutral as possible. 
All right, let's keep going. This is personally my favorite part of the house. This is the master bathroom. This was the part of the project that took the longest by far. I'm obsessed with this. This stone is called Rosa Cristallo. It's a crystal. It's very delicate. All of the fixtures are from Waterworks. The extra details put the baseboards in crystal. Everything you see is a process called lime wash, which is the paint that we chose to use. Before everything was white, it was a little too stark. I wanted to warm it up just a tad without making it feel too rustic. So I chose this color called Wabi and I had this painter come in. It's not the same as plaster, but it's a similar process. It's all done by hand and it gives it a very warm, organic feeling, which is obviously what we've been going for. Let's go down the hall, check out more stuff. So I wrapped the whole place in travertine from the living space all the way down to the entry hallway. I wanted to break it up a bit. I just had them create a wood paneling here where I backlit it a little bit just to break it up so it didn't seem too much. This is the room I like to call the junior master suite. 270 degree views of Miami, you see west facing and partially out this direction. This room actually really came out special. I chose to do this wood paneling on the wall instead of stone to try and switch it up a bit. We added a touch of stone here. We wrapped the column in travertine. I didn't want every room to feel the same. I tried to give as much of a custom feel as I could to each room. And in here, I brought out the black elements with this tropical storm marble, also sourced from Arca. If you need stone, Go visit Barbara at Arca. She's the man. She really helped me out so much throughout the process. Helped me design things, got me everything I needed. Great pricing. And I'm really happy with how this turned out. Turned the, the whole shower. We took out all the tile that was here. We put the travertine and then uh, balanced it with more of the tropical storm here as well. This is the money shot. You can't get better than this. You have scaping views of Miami, all the way from Sunny Isles to Bal Harbor, North Beach, Mid Beach, all the way down to South Beach. You see all the islands, Palm, Hibiscus, Venetian, Star Island, Fisher Island, all the way out to Key Biscayne some of the boat yard you see the cruise ship doesn't get better than this that's it for today guys thanks so much for checking it out with me i hope you liked it if you're interested in the property it's listed for sale at 6.5 million i'll put the link in the bio thank you so much